let's say the guys and peas be appointed this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure ipv6 with interval routing and which method of interval routing, routing are we going to use router on sticks so you can see here we have ipv6 router connected to the switch here and the switch comprises of three vlans hr finance and it so without any further ado i'll open our google uh, spreadsheet and let you know that today we are in number 17 ipv6 interval routing part one we'll do part one and part two okay because of interval routing using a router and much layer switch so we start with the router all right so i'll open our, our notepad to alert the steps that we're going to follow to achieve the objectives so configuring ipv6 plus interval routing or router on a stick okay all right the first step is to draw the necessary topology we decorate and comment so as you can see here i've used 2911 router connecting to 2960 access layer switch and we have three departments hr finance and it each department in different vlan numbers okay and you can see the network here has given us comments we're going to use ipv6 no ipv4 here okay so for for uh hr you can see it's, uh, the ipv6 address is 21 colon a b a o a i mean a b1 a double colon 64 okay subject mask then you have a link local address here which is fair 80 double colon one okay when you come to finance vlan 20 then ipv6 uh, address is 21 a b 2 b uh, double colon slash 64 then the link local address is this one the same applies to it department okay all right so uh the first the third step i mean the second step create vlans name them and assign them to the ports and also we've been told to configure track so guys a moment we're going to configure our vlans on this switch then we have to make this port a track port because it will allow passage of multiple variants to the router okay all right so let's as uh, let's just make sure that fa 0 one is trunk so we'll start with fa 0 one and make it trunk port so we just go there and do it very very fast to save time so interface enable uh config t so interface fa 0 one okay then switch port mode trunk that's all exit and do right then when you go back to uh, the notepad you can see create villains name them and assign them to port so let's create villains how many villains three villains for hr finance and it so we just say villain 10 then we name name us um hmm, we name us hr so basically we've created villains and named them but we've not assigned them to ports so we're going to the uh, to this to the topology here to identify which ports deserve which VLAN ID. So for example, we can see this is uh, FA0 slash 2 and FA0 slash 3 to be VLAN 10. Then FA0 slash uh, um, 4 and 5 VLAN 20. Then 6 and 7 to be VLAN 30. Alright, so I do it very very fast here. When I come back to this switch here, so we just say interface range fa0 slash uh, two to three these two interfaces okay to deserve uh vlan 10 okay so switch port mode access then switch port access vlan 10 exit then we go to fa0 slash uh, four to five which deserves vlan um five 20 i mean okay and do it guys we have done everything that we should do on the switch we've made this a trunk port the two of these ports to be vlan 10 two of these vlan 20 and finally two of these to be vlan 30 so let's get into discussion of today's okay so uh, it's all about ipv6 configuration plus inter vlan routing so we're done the vlan part vlan part so let's do inter vlan routing and assign those sub interfaces um ipv6 addresses Remember router on a stick, a router on a stick, we use sub-interfaces. We create sub-interfaces. So, for example, this interface here, it's gig00. So, we create a sub-interface of gig00 to represent 
the VLANs. So, for example, gig 10.20, and .30. Okay. All right. So, when I go back to our notepad, you can see configure IP addresses, IPv6 addresses to the router's sub interfaces. Then we're being advised that use both link local and global unicast address. Okay. So, I told you that link local is done is that one that we use for local communication okay but it cannot go outside the network okay but global unicast address we can communicate anywhere that we want okay it can go to remote networks but for link local just inside the remote network but not outside okay good all right so let's start let's start the first thing that we do we create sub interfaces because it's interval routing plus ipv6 address so we just go here and just say no. All right. So enable uh, config T. Then the first thing that we should always do when we want to configure IPv6, please enable IPv6 routing uh, route for forwarding. Okay. Global forwarding. Okay. So how do we enable IPv6 global forwarding? We just say IPv6 unicast routing. That's all. Always make sure you enable global glo IPv6 global forwarding. All right. Okay. So let's create um, sub interfaces for router on a stick. So this is gig zero zero. So this is gig zero zero, and we create uh, let's say interface gig uh, zero four zero. Okay. You can see it's it's down. So let's turn it up first. Now say no shut and exit okay so we've turned this interface up so let's create sub interface so interface gig 00.10 for vlan 10 okay you see for vlan 10 then now let's bind it to vlan 10 how do we do it we just say encapsulation dot one q then the vlan number number 10 okay then now we assign it ip address which ip address do we assign first the link local we just say ipv6 uh, address to be this link local which is fair 80 double colon one then you specify that this is a link local address and you just hit enter okay then the second the second address that you have to specify is the GU, gua global unicast address address sorry which is just say ipv6 also ipv6 address to be um 201 2001 then colon a b a b one a okay then double colon this is a network so let this interface to take one okay slash 64 and you hit end exit that's all that's all about that interface so let's get another interface sub interface for vlan 20 which is very very simple very very simple so for VLAN 20, um, just a minute. So for VLAN 20 here, we just say interface uh, gig00.20 for VLAN 20. And we bind it to the VLAN ID, which is encapsulation dot one q uh, 20 the VLAN ID, the VLAN number, okay? Then now let's start assigning them IPv6 address. The first IPv6 address we assign is a link local. We just say IPv6. Uh, address to be fair uh, fair 80 double colon 2 and you specify that this is a link local address now assign global unicast address which is uh, ipv6 ipv6 address still to be 201 colon uh, a b to be double colon one okay let it take the first ip address this is a network okay okay slash 64 and hit enter exit and do not not, not do right still let's create finally finally let's create for vlan 30 sub interface for vlan 30 now interface gig 00, 0 dot 30 then encapsulation dot one q 30 okay then the link local address will be link local address will be fair 80 double colon 3 okay all right now the global unicast address will be ipv6 address 201 ab 
3c. 3c. Uh-huh. Yes, 3c. Then we want it to take the first IP address, which is uh, double colon 1, okay? And we hit enter, exit, and do that. Guys, we've done configuring IPv6 on this router. So what we can just say, do show start. So you can see the three sub interfaces, they are both link local and global unicast address, okay? And if you can just hover over this router here, you can still see the same on the part of ipv6 column you can see they're there there right okay so basically what i'm gonna do we only go back to our notepad you can see that configure ip address ipv6 address on the on pcs on each LAN. okay so we're going to do it manually remember for vlan 10 the the sub interface here two 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 zero zero one colon a b a a, a b one a double colon one so so let's this let let this one to take a uh, double colon 10 i mean double colon even five and six okay so i do it very very fast to save time so i just copy this part so after copying that part i just come here come desktop come to IPv ip then ipv6 okay then paste that one and let let this one to take dot uh, five and here to be 64 okay 64 and the full gate we don't forget it was dot one i mean colon one okay double colon one i hope you remember that okay so i will do that on this i'll do the same for this one very very fast take time then i come here and demonstrate and also here demonstrate okay so let's demonstrate with this one here so the first the first ip address was taken by the sub interface and it was 2001 a b to b double colon one okay so let this one take uh, double colon five double colon six and the same will apply for this one and this one very very fast step time okay so we're done configuring configuring ipv6 addresses on these computers and we've done based on the networks okay all right so what i'm gonna do is to try to ping so I'm going to ping from this PC to this PC and to this PC. So for example, let me just copy uh, this network. Okay. And you can see this IP address is uh, IPv6 address is 201-2001 AB, AB3C double colon 6. So I'm going here and try to ping. Uh, ping. And I paste that one. Double colon 6. You can see it's pinging. Then even double clone five, it's it's pinging. So when I go here, the here was a B two B, and the PV IPv six addresses here are uh, colon five and double colon six, double clone five and double clone six. So I'm just going to change this one to two B two B two B. You see, it's pinging. So basically, uh, our communication is achieved so ipv6 you can see it's very very fast and there's no packet loss okay all right so basically guys i believe this video is really help you now to configure ipv6 address plus interval routing using route and on a stick as the method so thank you so much guys so uh, when you come back again when you come back we will handle part two using much less switch and mark this section as done Thank you so much guys please subscribe to this channel like this video and share with friends bye and see you again in the next class